I have an original antique light bulb here. Light bulbs have come a long way since the original Thomas Edison design. And today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna take a look at a light bulb that claims it can repel rodents. This is called the Zaplight LED light bulb and sonic rodent repeller as seen on TV. It says it can replace a standard light bulb, has a brightness of 600 lumens, is silent to humans and non-rodent pets, but it can repel rodents up to 400 square feet. It's also energy efficient with an annual estimated cost of $1.31. This all sounds really good, so let's take the light bulb out of the package and see how it works. It's really easy to use. You just screw it into a light socket and it turns on. Now in this mode, it's giving off light, but also emitting an ultrasonic sound that's supposed to scare away rodents. If you want it to work just as a rodent repeller and not a light, you flip the switch. And when you plug it back in, the ultrasonic sound is on, but the light's off. Now the way you know it's working is in the dark, you should see a red light emitted from the light bulb, just like this. Now I can't hear anything, but supposedly the high-pitched sound waves drive rodents crazy. I want to test this out, so I'm going to do a couple tests. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the light bulb with some bait just a few inches below it to see if the mice, rats, and shrews come in and still take the bait, or if they're repelled by the sound. Then I'm going to run a second test where I put the light bulb up in the socket on the ceiling and see if that's too far away or if it still works. So let's go set up some motion cameras with sunflower seeds in the light bulb, see if the rodents are really repelled by it or if they don't care. Over the past few nights, I tested out the Zaplite ultrasonic rodent repellent light bulb, and I had some mixed results. Now clearly, when this is in close proximity to a mouse, the mouse or shrew does not like it. They came in, but they would not get that bait. They ran away. Now the rat was a little different. The rat came in, didn't have a problem with the light bulb, and ate quite a bit of the food. So when this is close to smaller rodents, it definitely works. But the problem is when I put this up on the ceiling in the light socket, the results weren't as clear. I still had mice and shrews come in, so it's definitely a tool you can use to deter rodents, but it's not a magic bullet. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap and deterrent videos a week. So if you wanna see how to deal with mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.